Hey, what's everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a text mask in Adobe Photoshop. It's been a little while since I've done a Photoshop tutorial, so I thought I would jump in here and do a fun one. So we're going to be going over a text mask in Photoshop, and we're going to be doing it two different ways, where the text is cut out of the image and where the text becomes the image, or vice versa, I guess the image becomes the text. So these are the two different ways we're going to do it. Let's get started. Um, I'm going to go with the easier of the two to start off with. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my text here and we're going to delete this layer mask. And what we have to start off with is just any image that you want to cut a piece of text out of. Just go ahead and drag on a text box. So we're going over here to the text tool and we're clicking and we're dragging it onto the center and we can type anything we want. For example, we could type something like fun text like so. And what we do next is we then center it or put it wherever we want it to be cut out. And the color really doesn't matter. If you want to make it larger, just you know, go up here and make it as big as you want. Mine was at 232 pixels. And the font, of course, matters as well because it's going to apply a cut based on the font. So if you want like a really interesting one, let's do, sure, this one, we got to lower this down a little bit. So we can cut it out looking like this if we want to. Let's do that. Let's push it right here. And then all we have to do from here is we need to hold down. Whoops, did not mean to create that. We need to hold down our control key and click on this little symbol next to the layer here. You see how that box appears right when I get over the text symbol? That is what I need to click. And it's going to create a selection around this. What we need to do next is go up to select and inverse. And this will select everything that's not the text. Click on our picture, not on our text, on our picture, and then click this button down here, which is going to create a layer mask with this selection. And then just hide your text. And you'll see that what we've done is we've cut out that text right here. So, you know, you can put anything. This can become a transparent image. You see that it's moving around the background. And you can have some fun with this. Um, put it in a bunch of different spots, and it'll work out nicely. So that is how you cut out using a text or a piece of text. And now let's go with actually making the, the image into text. So this one is actually pretty easy as well. What we need to do is let's actually undo that. Let's delete the text here. And let's start where we did before, which is just with a picture. We're then going to go into this tool right here, go ahead and drag something right uh, our text out and we'll type I don't know, exciting text, right like so. And then we want to center it right about where we want uh, the text to be it doesn't actually matter because this one isn't as destructive as the other one We're actually gonna have a lot more options here So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bottom layer We're gonna drag it onto the top right up here And then all we need to do is two things the first is we need to make sure our text is white So we should highlight our text go down into the color and make sure that it's white up here And then the second thing we need to do is we need to click on our text right click and hit create clipping mask You'll see that in a little arrow points down and that means it is clipping beneath it. And now the background is onto the text. And you can see that I can actually move the background around and adjust where I want the clipping mask to be applied. Or I can click on the text itself and move the text around. Uh, we might have to lock this top layer to do that. And I can move the text around and you'll see that it's going to uh, move sort of like it's almost like a magnifying glass or like a viewing glass where we can see the image behind it through the text. And that is how you create um, the image, you put the image onto the text. So those are two different ways to create some text uh, masks, you can either do it where you cut it out of the text like in this one, or you can do it where you cut the text out of the image like this one. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make Adobe related content every other day, mainly in the Premiere realm, but I do like to branch off into others like this one. And until next time, guys, see ya.